السلام علیکم For many months now I've battled whether or not I should even make this video. For me, this issue is very personal and serious. It's terminal. I'm dying. In no way am I overly distraught. I have actually been aware of this for quite some time now. It's not necessarily any chemical reaction or something that was developed later in life. This is something I was born with. There is no particular medicine or treatment for what I have. The best I can do now is to make sure that my concepts, speech, and actions are in accordance with Islam. Ya ayyuha alladhina amanu taqullaha haqqa tuqatihi wa la tamutunna illa wa antum muslimun in this ayat, taqwa not only means to stay conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at all times, but taqwa is to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a manner in which you avoid his prohibitions and obey his commands. In short, to measure your life by the halal and haram. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's rahmah is abundant. Every morning that we awaken is like a new start in a new life. And as sleep is known as the minor death, we only must sincerely seek forgiveness for our faults and strive not to repeat any haram that we may have done. And even in the seeking of forgiveness is a major measure of taqwa. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam described our salawat as an act that cleanses the sinful impurities that may have stained us since the time of our last salat. Abu Sa'id Khudri radiallahu an narrates that he heard the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying, Each of the five salawat covers up the sins committed since the salat preceding it. Also, Jabr radiallahu an narrates that he heard Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying, The likeness of the five salawat is that of a deep stream running in front of the door of a person who bathes in it five times daily. So to take Salat seriously is to take life seriously, which is taking your inevitable death seriously. No one knows when, how, or even where they will die. I have personally had many near-death experiences, mostly before, but a few even after embracing Islam. And if any of you viewing have experienced similar, you can attest that at times when matters seem the most hopeless, there always remained some hope. This is because our nature is to hope past our apparent reality. That is, to believe. And one of the many beauties of Islam is that the human being is not required to suspend intellect in order to make the belief palatable, which is the case with every other belief. With all of this said, do not become sad for me. From the time of conception, we all became terminal. It is only by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we are born, grow, mature, or reach old age. Every created thing will eventually reach its end. Kullu nafsin da'iqatul mawt, thumma ilayna turja'un. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al hayyu qayyum. In one beautiful hadith, our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam instructed us, take advantage of five matters before five other matters. Your youth before you become old. Your health before you become sick. Your richness before you become poor. Your free time before you become busy. And your life before your death. I'm dying. But in reality, we all are. Alhamdulillah ala kulli hal. I may not have much money, but I do have you. Health, some free time, and life. Inshallah, we all will submit ourselves totally to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as in Islam. Before our inevitable death.
I'm just saying. This has been Saudi Man for Dawa Works. Assalamu alaikum.